so many clutch moments here at Stadium Court at the Greenbrier. The OC Breakers come through in the end, 23 to 22. It came down to a super tiebreaker, and the women doubles was the difference. Well, the biggest thing is the doubles. You look at what Rick Leach did as the captain, as the coach of that side, really smart. He's played World Team Tennis. He's been at the highest levels of the game. He knows his strength, but it started with men's singles, and it was really heated. Stevie Johnson, Tennis Sangren, and the slimmest of margins in this one holds all around. There was a break early on back on serve. It ended up going to a tiebreaker, but it would be Stevie in the end that would get the last point. This is a timeout. This was the final point of the men's singles. Stevie Johnson calling that timeout. That yeah, was a double fault. <laughs> kind of an anti-climactic finish, but exciting at the same time. Then we move on to the women's singles. We thought it was going to be Danielle Collins, but Jessica Pagula came in, and she played great today. Yeah, she really did. She found her rhythm early on, driving the ball. I thought she served extremely well when she needed it. Yeah, she was hitting a big ball today from both wings. This one would finish 5-2, and it makes me wonder if she's going to be playing more singles down the stretch. Of course, Danielle Collins, you thought that was going to be her when you saw the rosters come out. But Pagula, really impressive. Takes out Jen Brady, who struggled as of late. She's 1-4 since she's been here, but props to Pagula for sure. Yeah, Pagula, I think the turning point was honestly when she guessed right on that backhand and she hit that passing shot. We just showed that. Men's doubles then was the third set. And that would be Stevie back out there with Austin Krychek going up against Sangren and Skupski. Boy, really good stuff. When you start playing some men's doubles, you know fireworks are going to happen. Look at this. Stevie Johnson pulls a rabbit out of his hat on that shot. This one would go the distance in a tiebreaker as well. Orlando would come through. Then we move on to the mix, and guess what? Another nine-point tiebreaker in this one. This was Skupski and Pagula taking on the former Aggie and the Canadian Cannon. Yeah, I'll tell you, she really found a way to win. She didn't play her best tennis, but I'll tell you, she hit the shots when they need. Sometimes there were shanks. But again, you take you take luck, you, you take it all, man. And it's I really thought it was some high quality stuff here in the mix. So that means Orlando wins two straight sets with the nine point tiebreaker. They seem to be coming through in the clutch. But then next comes women doubles, and then Dabrowski starts to find her form. She takes leadership of the team. She comes in with the Slovenian Klepoc. And this is when things started to turn for the breakers. And remember, they took the momentum from the previous event, and then you got Rick Leach who set up this lineup as the home team to put his aces to come through in the clutch. So they're down four going into this fifth set. Not easy to come back from that. They end up winning 5-3 on that deciding point. Now they got to get two games in a row to force a tiebreaker. Here's the deciding point in that second game. And now we're going to a super tiebreaker. Doesn't get any better than that. The pressure was just on all four competitors. And there it is, so well deserved. Puts them back into the hunt in the standings. And this is how we got there. Steve Johnson started out three straight sets for Orlando. But that is so exciting. What a great finish to well, this one. That's the whole thing. It doesn't matter how many sets you win. Look at that. Storm won three of the five sets. Doesn't matter. It's the games, baby. That's what we said. We went over the format. It's not about how many sets you win. It's how many games. And in the end, it would beat the Breakers 23 to 22.